Hello everyone, my name is DB and welcome to today's video and this is about Seasons Explained. So I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about what seasons are, what happens in them and why do we do them every few months. Hit the intro. So what are seasons? Well, seasons are a span of time, generally around two to four months where we get specific things have changed within the gameplay. So so we've had double goblins, double bounties. This season we have had um, the Royal Ring of Grandeur. So that has changed all the way, all of the builds that we run has completely changed now. And the next season, season 17, which starts in the middle of May, we're going to be having the Legacy of Nightmares set. So what happens is everything gets reset. So you have no more characters. You start at zero uh, and you have... Uh, no gold, your artisans are back to level zero, Kali's cubes disappeared, everything's gone. So leaderboards and conquests. So the leaderboards get wiped, uh, and then we start over again. So who gets the greatest, the higher, greater rifts, and then you get your times, etc. So that's all wiped, started from zero again. But you also have conquests. So conquests are things like Speed Demon. Complete a Nephilim Rift at max level on Torment X or higher within two minutes. Or level 3 legendary gems to level 65. These change per season. Uh, they don't always stay. Every season you start with, there's a starter set that you will go through on your season journey. And I'll go, I'll speak about the season journey a bit more in depth now. So for season 16, Demon Hunters had Natalia's Vengeance. Immortal Kings for Barbarian. So you also get portrait frames and you get wings, so cosmetic items there. So let's have a look at that season journey. As you can see, there's quite a lot to the season journey. You start at chapter one. So chapter one to chapter four, you will get the portrait frame, wings, and armor. They're the four things that you'll get. So in chapter one, you'll have things, complete a Nephilim Rift, uh, raise a blacksmith to level 10, kill Belial, doesn't matter what level, reach level 50. Again, these change every season, but they're they're more or less similar every year. So then you get to chapter 2, which is craft a level 70 item, find Kanai's cube, uh, reach level 70. And on this one, you'll get, on level chapter 2, you will get two pieces of your first character's set item. So if you're a demon hunter, you will get two pieces of Natalia's Vengeance once you've completed chapter 2. Then once you're doing chapter 3, so chapter 3 is complete an effort and rift on master difficulty or higher, uh, kill Rakanoth on level 70 or higher, uh, obtain two act bounties, so uh, doing the bounties is this one. And on the end, completion of chapter three, you'll get another two pieces. And then on the completion of chapter four, you get the final two pieces to complete the set of your first character that starts. So again, chapter four is finish a level 70 Nephilim Rift on Torment 1 or higher, uh, get all the Key Wardens, kill the Skeleton King. Again, these, these generally change. I mean, the Key Wardens kind of stay the same every season. Uh, learn five Julian recipes, learn basic stuff to get to chapter four. It's really easy. You'll have your six-piece set, your portrait frame, and your wings. But then you unlock something called Slayer. So Slayer is the next level up, and what you get with this is a nice portrait frame. These get a little bit more difficult. So with this one is obtain a legendary item by spending blood shards with K Kadala. That's not difficult, but sometimes it can just take a lot of blood shards to get that piece. Complete a set dungeon, for example. I'll do a tutorial on set dungeons shortly, and then I'll show you where to go and get them done. So, once you've completed Slayer, you go on to Champion. Now, Champion, again, gives you another portrait frame that you can use. These are a little bit more difficult or more challenging again. So, craft a flawless gem in the, at the Jewel Crafter. Again, not hard. So, you have to master a set dungeon. That's a little bit more difficult. Uh, do a greater rift level 40 solo, convert a set item with can ice cube. Again, not really that difficult yet, but then you get to destroyer. So destroyer, you get another portrait frame, uh, level three legendary gems to 45. Again, these are not that difficult. You should do this over a period of time. The, the, this isn't, these aren't difficult, um, but it does take time to get these because now you're looking at 20, Legendary powers using Kali's Cube, reach greater lift, rift level 50 solo. So we're getting to that sort of uh, starter level of the end game now. 
Then you go to Conqueror. Now, Conqueror is more important because you get your stash space at the end of this one. So this is three legendary gems to level 55. And what this has here is complete two conquests this season. So like I said, you have to do things like Speed Demon uh, or get level 70 gems, things like that. But these are a little bit more tricky. So Slay Greed on Torment 13. You know, augment an ancient item with a level 50 gem. Again, these are things you can do, but they are taking a little bit more time to get. Uh, and then finally, you have Guardian, which is the last portrait frame that you'll get. Uh, with this one, you are going to be looking at Kill Izul within 10 seconds. Greater Rift, level 70 solo. Extract 40 legendary powers using Kali's Cube. 311, 3 legendary gems to level 70. Uh, one I haven't done is complete three conquests this season. So the conquests are the most difficult part from my perspective. So at the end of the season, uh, your characters return back to being normal characters. All your gold is transferred to your normal character, your normal stash. Uh, all your items are returned to your stash. But you'll get like a, um, a cash before you get to do anything. You get to decide which items to keep. Uh, you also get all your paragon points. Remember, they don't stack one for one. So there's a calculator out there that I'll put a link in uh, that'll actually work that out for you. So this is why we have seasons. I uh, hope I've explained enough for you. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button uh, to keep up to date with all my content. My name is DB. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you all again soon.